a teen, I spent most of my summers alone I was writing, I was dreaming, I was working on poems I didn't have many friends that were calling my phone Matter of fact, saying that I still don't no, I've been studying too The culture in hip-hop news I've given most of my life to this music Some might say it's a nuisance Or some might say it's my muse I'm most definitely not amused I've been dodging nooses at night By bumping these songs in the noon I'm steady trying to be a leader But my fears are falling These tears are falling Of course I'm not losing my cause or calling Or dimming the right side of my brain That causes this urgent performing Here's a story of a dream That I found dead in the morgue I told him get up, start walking No rest for the respiratory No the rest bikes for the week or the end of the week And every day for me is a Monday So my visions are roaring I give a damn about first impressions Welcome to my obsession I guess my only confession is that I think I'm the freshest I could sell my soul for a dream But that won't buy me no seconds And I'd be lying if I said I didn't hide this depression I understand life's a blessing And I'm counting my blessings I've come to think my life's a studio session The problem is too many people wanna try my profession I swear that this is my essence You couldn't school me a lesson It's like I'm going round the cycle of infinite regression Trying to implement these methods to share my view of my message It's not about setting records Cause I feel that I was beckoned You see I think this is my purpose So I'ma make you respect it And this is for all my kids with a dream and a goal Don't let go, keep it afloat Don't go with the flow Know your body's just a vehicle to carry the soul So ensure that your mind is strong enough to paddle the boat Every rhyme has a reason Not every house is a home And everybody gets lonely So in that you're not alone You can swim against the tide If your spirit's indomitable Persistence is honourable this industry's unconscionable But a driven mind's unstoppable This here's for the culture So don't let them vultures stop you with no obstacles This world will turn you Upside down, inside out, down and out On this round, round and round This world will turn you Upside down, inside out I pray your pain is gone And your will is strong And your word is bond And your life is long And you keep on keeping on And you keep on keeping on And on And you keep on keeping on And you keep on keeping on And on And you keep on keeping on When everybody says put it down And you probably should quit When everybody pulls you down Spiraling deep Alright so in this In this internet age that we all seem to be existing and I feel it's become easy, maybe a bit too easy to fall, uh, to feel it has become easy to fall victim to a vicious cycle of monotony eventually leading to a life of mediocrity if the worst case scenario prevails. Now, this is because this virtual matrix takes on necessity a, a habitual right to be plugged into. Since all signs of the internet as a recreational and educational an educational entity only in luxury status has been drained out and flushed away. The generation that succeeds us will only know of a time when the internet and computing as its driving force was not in full effect second hand, vaguely through memorabilia. Now, as a people of generation, we've been tossed into the stormy tides of the unknown without proper warning or logical edification. We are the first generation to experience this this inescapable Cyber influence on our lives! And venture out into the nameless, or should I say venture in? Oh, as, 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 we, as, as we know, we're gonna need to leave the house! Sorry. We know we're gonna need to leave the house! Strong moral and social integrity jeopardized! Of unjustified, unjustified opinion, high importance, and the weary ground of quick gratification is to flick open 15 inches of liquid crystal display! Are we slowly being subconsciously manipulated by a technology that has outsmarted us? How so? How could this be? We created these machines. These machines are man's gift donated to a world barren of certainty. Finally, an answer to the questions that have plagued the minds of intellectual fools for centuries now. The answer is clear. A technological revolution must be the next step in human evolution. 
But yet again, you were mistaken. Fortune thirsty for truth, but only trusting in fool's gold. All these computers that dictate our day. This impressive invention. This anti-intimate innovation. How you shaped our destinies and bent back the spines of our future. Apocalypse now. Mercy, mercy me, yells the auctioneer at the Grand Ebit for the most intricate, intriguing, indulgent, insanity, a certified industrialization. An automation revelation that has never been seen by the eye of the universe. Compact in one functioning mechanical body. Welcome to the world's smartest man-made computer. And it requires no sort and no form of manual instruction. A machine capable of providing an encyclopedia of advice at the click of a button. Oh, as if machines could walk with man. Simple as simple can be. We fed the computers information and now they spew it back at us with double the speed and double the assertion. Controlling us. Altering us. Shifting us. Commanding us. And eventually, deleting us. Do you believe in God? My policy is the separation of spirit and silicon. But they don't hear my call from outside, from outside, no way I'm feeling like I see a lot